Good day everyone, welcome to this video, and today we have our first subscriber request for the combos. I think it was um, Anthony Campbell? I didn't really note down the name, I forgot to. Do apologise for that. Um, and it was the T50 and the Yak-4. Now I've spent the morning originally trying to record the, um, the M1542 and the IAR81C combo, but that's just been going shit. So I think we need a bit of Russian bias in our life. So the Yak-4, obviously I'll go over that in a moment. Let's go over how much I know about the T-50 and see what kind of bond I've had with it. Well, to be honest, this thing's a little bastard. <laughs> it's a good tank. Don't get me wrong, it's a good tank. But um, not many people like this thing because of its mobility being absolutely ridiculous because it's, well, it's amazing in terms of mobility. Excuse me. Then you get um, pretty trollish armor for a light tank. I remember, the, I think this thing used to be 2.3 back in the day. And the sloped armor was actually really effective against most shells I would encounter. Obviously, Panzer IV will cut right through. But for a light tank, this thing's actually got pretty tough armor. 40 millimeters, 45, 40 all over the turret, with just 15 protecting the rear. That's where I used to kill them in my AC Mark II. AA car. That was a lot of fun. You get three, well, you get four crew members in total. You get your driver, gunner, loader, commander. Single shot to the turret should kill the tank, so we've got to be careful of that. And to be honest, I don't mind a T50. I just quite like it. Obviously, it's a little bastard to deal with half the time, but hey ho, shit happens. The Yak 4, however, is one plane that I've not really bonded well with. Um, it's only armed with a single 7.62 in the front and a single 7.62 in the back with eight 100 kilogram bombs, four on the outside, four on the bomb bay, which I will point out later if we get to spoil in the plane, obviously. And well, yeah, these two should be a pretty good combo because obviously light tank, faster maneuverable, light bomber, faster maneuverable ish. So let's see how we do. But yes, you do not want to know about the M1542 and the IAR-81C combo. I've been trying it for the last 20 minutes to 30 minutes. I actually had to pause the recording halfway through because I was getting so angry about it. Because, well, in the first battle I did, I got Poland. And had a pretty good game in the tank, got four kills. And, well, <sighs> Retard's Luck just killed us in one shot in the IAR from a P40 who somehow saw us. Second battle, did do very well. Got the got the tank reasonably well. I got two kills, but still didn't have enough spawn points for the AR, so I had to leave that battle. And the third battle that I did got two shot by Cromwell, who managed to get halfway across, well, in fact, three quarters away across the map in under a minute, so, yeah. So I thought, why don't we do something a bit more fun, and let's see if we can have a bit more fun with this thing. Oh, perfect. Sinai. Lovely. I love this map. Now, because we're in a light tank with a somewhat pathetic gun for its battle rating, because the 45 is showing its age here, we do get APCR, but I don't think we'll use it, personally. But yeah, it's just been a bit shit this morning for the IAR and all that. So, and we are bottom dog I think. I oh, know 150 SP that normally means in a light tank that normally means you're top dog so you never know we might be 2 point or 1.7 game. Yes we are lovely. This should be a good battle then. Okay let's hope this goes a little better than the IAR 81C and the M1542 combo. That was originally going to be the battle that I used for the combo series, but I thought Stuart and the P26P shooter did a lot better than that. Not only that, I didn't have the AAR for a bit, so I thought, get the series nice and early, you guys can decide what to do. And obviously you can see here, to say this thing's only got 300 horsepower, it shifts like a stabbed rat, it really does move. Okay, we want to use these rocks up here as cover. We do have negative seven in the gun depression. He just did Tokyo Drift, that's, that Locust did. 
Okay, we don't have the gun depression to really word this position all that well. Kill them all, okay, random. Drive a gunner, um, Gajan. <laughs> that said non penetration. What? <laughs> okay, random. That's a grand, oh boy. Oh, hello there. Hello there! That's a Shrek meme reference. Okay, we've got in. Well, we haven't got enough for the Yak 4 yet, but that's perfectly fine. I do love the T50's reverse. I love it. Whoa, that was not. That was not. Artillery fire, was it? Okay. Let's move back up. Right. The Grant's round there. I'm just going to call it a Grant because it's a lot easier. That way we're not dicking around with is it a Lee or is it a Grant? I'm just going to call it a Grant. That locust down there has been a little terror. There's that Lee. Let's move. There's far too many enemy tanks here. I brought plenty of ammo, as you can tell. I mean, I should have probably reduced it, to be honest, but... I thought if we bring plenty of ammo, that way we could get a couple of kills. Because obviously the 45 loses its punch in this battle rating. Oh, hello there. Drive a gunner. We can move back up with confidence. Job done. That's enough for the Yak-4. Yes, it is. Beautiful. So we're going up for our combo tank. or oh, combo plane. And I saw a guy around it. Oh god, that's a Sherman. That is a fucking Sherman. Why is my fucking transmission playing up? Right, fire out. There we go. That's how you do it. If I'd have stopped to put the fire out, I'd have probably been dead there, folks. So, that's why you got to play it smart. Oh god, that Lee might see us. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Oh, we're still in... Ugh. Oh, thank God, the trollish armor. Okay. That's a friendly Panzer II. Thank God for that. Okay, to punch for a Lee, we'll probably need this. The turret traverse on this thing used to be a lot worse, so I think they've doubled it. Now ah, we missed that one. Back to APC, BC, well, APHE really. That's what it technically is. Okay, let's flank. Obviously, I don't want to leave it till the last minute to bring in the Act 4. That's not what I want to do. Okay. Oh, hello, hello, hello. That's a locust. Taking shots from the left, that's fine. I'm fast on the trigger, buddy, clearly. That's what I nickname gamer reactions. When you're a gamer, you have quicker reactions than what you would expect. Obviously, I've been playing games for nearly all my life, so I do kind of have an advantage. On most. What the fuck are you doing? You see that, there, that guy there, people? No, that's not a kill shot, is it? There we go. Six kill. Right. Once we kill them, but we'll, we'll deal with this LVT first. Oh, really? They, you still got spawn protection to move that much? Okay. Okay, let's jump into Yak. Jump in the yak, eight 100 pound or kilogram bombs. They're not pound, otherwise, they'd be 50 kilogram bombs. Roughly, I think it equates to 45. 
Okay, we've got a plane incoming, that's not good. This thing's not very good at dealing with planes. There's the extra four bombs, in case you guys are curious. Um, the Act 2 loses these four outside bombs, if you're interested. Yak 4 is a... Well, not Yak 4. Yak 2 is a fantastic plane. The Yak 4 isn't as much, but we do at least get a forward gun, so we can try and use it. That's a biplane, so we should be able to take him. F3F, that's going to be a bastard to deal with in a Yak 4. Obviously, we're in a 2.7 game, so really, he shouldn't be here with that thing. If he was doing actual lineups with actual battle ratings and putting them together. He might not see us, so that's the benefit. I've never actually had an air kill with a front gun, fun fact. And well, it's only a single Shakar, so I'm not expecting much. My only air kills would have tail gunner. But obviously we're way faster than a biplane, so we could use our speed and get out of here. That's fine, mate. I can do this all day. He's now spraying and praying. Obviously, we're a lot less maneuverable than him, but that's because we're carrying a full payload. The thing is about the Yak-4 is that it doesn't get to carry any other bombs. I'm not sure if this thing carried any more bombs than that was in a plane. Yep, that's fine. Um, not sure if this thing carried any other bombs in real life, but I can't say I never researched about the Yak-4. I knew it existed, but when I was looking at pictures for it to see it added to War Thunder, I couldn't find where the front gun was. I'll point it out soon enough. And he's coming right at us. Why am I not surprised? Are we going to get retards luck? Well, we're getting shot by something else as well, so... Maybe. Ugh, I hate this sort of shit. I really do. Now we're getting focused by another plane. Ow. So look, that, that's a P-40. Right, we've got crit on him. So that's a P-40, what the fuck am I going to do against a P-40? What the fuck am I going to do against him? And there goes my tail and everything. I think I have a backup, yeah I do have a backup on this thing, so... Really? You're still going dude? Like, I'm going down in a flat spin, you spaz. Bloody hell. And I don't have enough for the backup, that's fine. We can still jump in the tank and get some more spawn points. I don't get why they've doubled it, because I couldn't do shit to that guy. I really don't get why they really bully top tier Viv. I mean, the team 50 and the Yak-4 isn't really the world's best combo, but even so. I couldn't have done shit to that guy, even if I tried. That's the thing though, against a P-40 you've got no hope because you can catch you, you can out run, you can out turn, you can do everything. And look, there he goes, he's just flying off. I mean, I, I probably reckon it's because he killed when I killed him. Level 10 and he's... Ugh. Guys, you're getting bored of that now. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Of course, we've got the... We've got the F3F, so that's something. Hang on a minute, what's that? M15? Well, M13? That's not the engine, is it, Gaijin? That's the engine, thank you. There we go. Still not enough for the... the yak. So... Whoa, what's that? Oh, I'm lucky I dodged that. Oh, you just made the wrong move there, buddy. I was thinking, hang on a minute, that doesn't look like a rock. Hello. Alright, now this is just... This is just small fry. Oh, okay. That is not small fry. That's just killed half our crew, whatever that was. But I was thinking then... That doesn't look like a bomb. That looks like a freaking 75 GMC. And it bloody was. Let's try a bit of old water tank side scraping. 
Because he's hold down, so he's got a combat advantage. I'll fire again and I'll punish you for it. Okay. He bounced off. I did as well. What I'm doing here, folks, is side scraping. It's a very useful tactic to, to learn. Especially against inexperienced players. Because what they'll do is, people, they'll... Just listen a second. Do apologize for my interrupting commentary there. Um, what they'll do is they'll hit the side armor and it will ricochet off in most situations if you're angled like I am. Spawn camping twats. They're not even spawn camping, mate. So now we can pull out. We missed our shot, obviously, but this is the idea of, of side scraping. I learned it when I was playing World of Tanks one time. Because, yes, I do play other games to Fall Thunder. Okay, we're going to need APCR to get through that mantle. And those are not friendly bombs, I presume. They were not friendly bombs. Okay, back to side scraping. Like I was mentioning though, this is a really good tactic to learn because, hang on, just mark him. The Igo hangar is about to deal with him. Am I even APCR hit him? I barely have to aim with APCR. He's probably one of those water tanks players who just thinks I can punch right for everything. That's his cannon breach out. Let's push him. And there's something behind us, so I'm glad we're pushing. Let's do our threat behind us first. Oh, fuck off! He did not just do that. How? 40 millimeters of pen, Gaijin. You are fucking joking me. He went through there. Jesus Christ. Well, at least we got a Yak 4. Bloody hell. How the fuck does he put a shot through a turret ring that's not even... Ugh. What level's this guy? 38. Fuck off. Not even I get that shit. I'm level 100. Well, we've had a good game either way, so that's the one benefit. I want to do deal. Well, I want to deal with that guy, not to revenge kill. This is a fucking spag, and I don't want spags to like. Okay, the airfield's clear, so over done, over done, over done. There is a plane up, so we've got to take that into consideration. I love it though how he hits a microscopic part of a tank where you can technically get a shell through, but even then, a 20 mil going through. I fucking doubt that. Right, you're getting on my nerves. Goodbye. I should have said you are the weakest link. Goodbye, but I forgot to make a reference. And that's my Facebook going off. Okay, there we go. We're back. Oh, for fuck's sake, that better not be another P40. Right, we're running. We're running. I bet you it's another P-40 flown by Vladik Co, because retard. Infinite backups, infinite everything, basically. I mean, we've got a kill with the bombs. Yeah, that's a P-40. Fuck's sake. Where'd be that T-17 armored car? Because that's British. Man, I'll drag you to my airfield. I'm, I'm running away from you, Bill. I can't do shit to you in the Yak-4. So I'm using my speed. Because that's literally my only weapon right now. But the enemy team is starting to push us back a bit, so that's why I want to keep going into the fight, but this guy just wants to tail us all day. And obviously, what's the one golden rule? If you can run, you can fucking run. <laughs> I bet that this guy's going to keep on going. Yep, he's following us all the way to the end, so... The key 10's not even bothering. Try and help. 
That doesn't surprise me. We actually scored a hit on him there. Right, let's take him into a gentle climb. Because then the triple A guns will lock onto him. It's not. Yep, it was Vladiko. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it was him. It seems he hates my Yak 4, but we technically got the air kill there. How does he have enough to spawn both a P40 what, and... Oh, no, he spawned two P40s and something else. What did he die in? What did he die in? See, look, he was in a Sherman. How does he have enough spawn points? Well, in fact, he had more spawn points than me. And he's had a shitter game. What the fuck? Oh, Gaijin, you and your retard benefits. Jesus. I mean, this battle's been quite a good battle because it's shown not only retard's luck, but it's shown that even being experienced in side scraping is pretty handy. I still shit myself when I saw that 75 camp in that corner. See, the enemy team are pushing us back pretty hard, but... I've got a Stuka to distract the... Uh, AAM, or the AC Mach 2. Obviously, we've only got four bombs left, and they are in the center bay, so we've got to take that into account. Alright, Stuka. I will try and deal with that AC. I think I see... Yeah, I see the AC Mark 2. I want to kill the AC before we do anything else. Oh, Rit, he's got guns reloaded that quickly? Fuck off. And we killed the M2. Fuck! I mean, yeah, that's a good thing, but at the same time, that's annoying because that should have killed the AC as well with hole break. Kill assist, good. I need to return to base to get bombs anyway. Right, he's an M1340, good, right. Kill assist on the M2. Lovely. We've cleared that cap just in time. <sighs> this is getting tense. And this is our last spawn, this Yak 4 is, so we've got to take into account everything, basically. I could try and fight like a fighter, but it's severely unlikely that we will win a dogfight. Okay. We've got six minutes left in this battle. So they're probably going to want to get revenge kills and stuff like that. Vladiko especially. Nice one, M1340. See, look, my team's starting to push them back. But, um, in case you guys aren't aware, there have been... Oh, shit. Um... There have been obviously leaks for 1.89. Obviously, by the time this comes out, 1.89 will probably be released. But they have. Just gotta watch that right flap because obviously that broke off at speed. Right, we're down. Lovely. But fuck me, this is an intense battle. We've lost two T50s, a Yak 4. Let's try not to make it two Yak 4s. What, three enemy planes up? Fuck it, oh, that's gonna be annoying. But on the plus side, most of their players... Okay, the Typhoon's dead. That's good. You're coming to camp. I see you there, you wanker. But you had a video audience, if you could see him. He's coming to try and strafe us. Absolute wanker. Come on, AA, shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him! Thank fuck for that, that was a P36. Right, engine's back on. We didn't take any damage, thankfully. What a fucking cunt. Yep, yeah, level 33, and he thinks he's hard. Right, let's go. Absolute wank state. He went straight for that freaking airfield strafe. You pilots and your patheticness, you have no... 
honour, I swear. It's called the Gentleman's Code, for God's sake. You don't stray for play once it's sat on a runway. God almighty. Right, gear up, let's go. Yeah, I would like the option to just take the four 100s in the internal. That'd be quite nice. I'm not sure. I think this thing could carry up to a ton of bombs, but I'm not really sure. I can't say I've ever done research on this plane. I did some minor when it came out, but... Overall, I'd have preferred the Yak-2 in this situation. Okay, we've got one enemy plane up. Not sure what it is, but the enemy team has reduced three planes. Or three tanks, or well, two tanks and a plane. We can try and use the forward gun, but it's only a 7.62. And to point out where it is, people, it is... You see that small spotlight? It's right under there. In fact, I'll fire a big burst just to point out there. It's easier if I just do that, because... Hang on, that's a TB to Devastator. We can have him. Okay, never mind. Panzer 4E shot him down. This is getting intense, because this is going to be a close victory. Well, it's going to be technically a victory for us, but obviously the game's going to induce a time. Okay, let's have a look around. We need to make sure our cap doesn't get attacked. I see a vehicle moving there. Of course, he's disappeared, because Gaijin doesn't want me to kill him, clearly. That or the render distance has changed. There's another one. I don't know what that is, but... Is that a Matilda? That's a fucking Matilda! Right, okay, you're dead. Not a big surprise. That's a Team Fortress 2 reference. That's another kill. That's their biggest, most dangerous tank dealt with, basically. That's an M2 medium. Let's turn back for him. We'll drop two bombs for this guy. That should be enough. If he, well, no, that's a Stuart, whatever. Two bombs should be more than enough. Okay, we've got a crit, so that's... The engine dead, the track dead. So one more bomb directly on target should be enough. I suppose, actually, we could drop both, just to be sure. Okay, that's another player out. Two bombs. Oh, shit, that was close. Tango down. Lovely. M3 destroyed. Okay, let's see if we can find that last guy. Because there's still one left. Forty-five seconds in a match remaining. I see you there. That's someone just coming out of spawn though, but obviously we've only got the 7.62 remaining. Put a GG in the chat, this is a well earned fight. Ow. I mean, I scratched his paintwork, he scratched mine, so. And, well, game's over gonna be in 20 seconds ish. Oh, really? You spawn camp in there? Or camping your own spawn there? That's just pathetic. Well, we killed one of his crew members, but that's the game over. Two air kills, 12 ground kills, four assists, three death. I'll take that, definitely. Oh, well, that certainly went a lot better than I was expecting. Obviously, we, lose, we lost two T-50s and a Yak-4, but that was a great combo, actually. I, obviously, I would prefer the Yak-2 to the Yak-4, just because just of its armament. But overall, that was a fun battle. Obviously, we did have retards lock along the way. I taught you guys about side scraping with a T50 because it's got the side armor to do it. I mean, look at this 40 millimeters. And at that angle, nothing's going through there at this battle rain. But I'm sorry. <laughs> That's just bullshit. I mean, how can you hit under there? It's just impossible. But retards lock, eh? But yes, like I say. Yak-4, good plane to use in tank RB, it's just it's not very well armed. But if you do need a... I think it's rank 1. One second. Um, if you do need a plane for more appropriate tasks, like removing planes, the Yak-2 is more than appropriate. You still get bombs, but obviously you do have to unlock them first. But 
this thing will do better in your service if you plan to use it. But the Act 4 is a bit more useful because it can carry more bombs. You get three bomb drops as opposed to, well actually technically, you get six bomb drops as opposed to the four that you would in the Act 2. But anyway, I'll let you guys off. I hope you enjoyed today's video on the T-50 and the Yak-4. Really enjoyed playing the T-50. I, I did like the tank. It's a very nice tank. The Yak-4 was nice to get out, and we even got a kill in it, so that's something. And I will catch you all on the next one.